we're going to solve the second equation for y. We will have 1 half x minus 8 equals y, so we are going to plug that equation in for y in the first equation. So this has, gives us 1 fourth x plus 3 fourths times 1 half x minus 8 equals 20. If we multiply that out, we get 1 over 4x plus 3 over 8x minus 6 equals 20. If we combine the x values and add the 6 to both sides, we get 5 over 8x equals 26. If we divide both sides by 5 over 8, we get x equals 208 over 5. Now if we plug 208 over 5 for x in the second equation, we get 1 half times 208 over 5 minus y equals 8, which is 208 over 10 minus y equals 8. If we change the 8 to 80 over 10, which allows us to subtract the 208 over 10 more easily, we get negative y equals 128 over 10, or y equals 128 over 10, which we can reduce to 64 over 5, giving us a solution of 208 over 5, 64 over 5. Now we're going to graph our two equations. We're going to solve for the y-intercept. We see that y equals negative 8. Now we're going to solve the second equation for the x-intercept. And we get x equals 16. So we can now graph this line. Next, we're going to solve the first equation for the y-intercept. In this case, we get y equals 80 over 3. And now we're going to solve for the x-intercept. Which gives us x equals 80. Now we can plot these two points and draw our line. And we see that where these two points intersect is at the solution that we got.